And finally, we want to add some button styles, button style, and that will be a bordered prominence. So it's this blue one, as you can see, and also the shape. So the, otherwise it would be a capsule one, uh, a button uh, sh border shape. And let's have a rounded rectangle with a radius of 16. That's what I found to be a really, really nice. And also let's just have here a padding. Okay, now that we have our top bar, our progress pills and our bottom bar and also uh, <laughs> the main thing, the page views. Now it's time to construct everything into our uh, body. So uh, what we are going to do is just have a simple vertical stack. Let me just uh, go and show you right over here. So top bar, our contents and then the bottom bar. So uh, let's create our V stack instead of our hello world V stack and maybe just uh, scroll a little bit up. We're going to have a top bar, there we go, and then our uh, bottom bar, great. And between those, I'm going to have a tab view uh, with a selection uh, of that index, so dollar sign index in, come on, dollar sign, sorry, dollar sign index, and then our content. Before I jump into the content, I want to set the tab view style to be dot page and not just page I want to remove the index index display mode we already created our own so index display mode dot never and right over here I'm going to go through all of the pages with a for each pages um, yeah let's just go with an indices because we do need to tag them so uh, on the skip and the back uh, it or um, knows what to do so pages instead of just pages we're just going to go pages dot indices we're going to also add the id as it suggested we're going to add instead of page an index and then uh, instead of this text i'm just going to have the page view uh, for the pages at i so that one page and i'm just going to tag it this is uh, not the task but tag this is basically why we want to have the indices so we can tag those page views